There are tools and techniques that you can use to elevate your baseline level of dopamine for long periods of time. And here again, this is done in addition to the basic tools that I mentioned a few moments ago. The simplest one for which there are excellent data, I'll provide a link to this, is that exposure of your body up to the neck to cold water, and it doesn't have to be super cold, by the way, to cold water has been shown to increase baseline levels of dopamine and the other so-called catecholamines, which include norepinephrine and epinephrine. But for sake of today's discussion, dopamine in particular, for not just one, but at least two and probably as long as four or five hours. And it's really remarkable. You could get into a cold shower in the morning, and I do recommend doing this in the morning. So for instance, there are data pointing to the fact that if you want to get a long lasting increase in your baseline dopamine, you could take a very cold shower or cold plunge or ice bath for a very brief period of time, anywhere from 30 seconds to two minutes, maybe three minutes, but probably 30 seconds to two minutes. But we're really talking about ranges in temperature from anywhere from about 37 degrees Fahrenheit to about 55 degrees Fahrenheit. Again, be careful, approach it with caution and ease into it. What I recommend is find a temperature that's uncomfortably cold to you, meaning that you feel agitated and you want to get out, but that you're confident you can safely stay in. And again, I can't give a simple prescriptive to everybody, but this is known to increase baseline levels of dopamine significantly. In fact, double them or more for long periods of time, meaning hours up to four, maybe even six hours into the day, which is one of the reasons I suggest doing this early in the day. I happen to get into a cold plunge or take a cold shower first thing in the morning. 